The holiday season, well, it should be a happy time of year, but for too many, it is not. There are troubling times, a nation divided, a lack of civility. The stress is just too much for some to handle. Now, if you want to make the most of the holiday and remain in the right spirit, then you'll want to hear what my next guests have to say. Helene Shalotsky is a former teacher, a mother, grandmother, author. She's written a book filled with positive thoughts. The sunny side, I write it as I see it. Perhaps she was influenced by her daughter, our <laughs> dear friend, Robbie Ludwig, who is a clinical psychologist here in New York. And uh, so good to have you with you. Uh, did, did you influence what your mother wrote or did you influence your daughter? <laughs> I think it's mutual. She's a very positive person, so it's uh, she's a big help in that direction. So let me let me ask you. You know, it's a little book, but big with positivity. Thank so you. So what what is the message that your essays and blogs deliver in this book? Well, my essays, the blogs, all talk about family, a recipe for a good year, uh, teachers, students, people and words and I think the message is always go out there you make a difference so a smile a good word a kind thought goes such a long way in this world that's the elixir for the uh, the recipe for a good year that I those think some of the elements it starts <laughs> you are a force every single person the minute you walk through that door you are a force in this world for good and so these blogs suggest how you affect the world, how you make a difference. So, Robbie, so taking what your mother taught you yes. and what you taught yourself, <laughs> how do you turn negativity into positivity? Well, first of all, I think you have to make it a goal. How can I be more positive? How can I feel as good as possible? Because sometimes it's not possible to feel great if you're in a dark place, so you start with, how can I feel better? And really a lot of how we feel is based on what we're focusing on. So focus on something good, as small as it is, that can help train your mind to start thinking in a way that feels better and ultimately I think is healthier wise words but it's, it's difficult for people to apply that particularly at this time of year mm. people are isolated many people feel isolated mm -hmm. and they didn't have family to sit down with there is homelessness and in yeah. such despair and also an elevation in suicides mm. around the holiday time how do you deal with that how do you get that message across well i think the first thing is number one if you're isolated find a way to get out and be amongst people think about the bigger picture so maybe this year might be difficult but it doesn't mean next year will be difficult think about how you can contribute to the bigger picture so go volunteer when people give of themselves and see that they are actually better off in some cases than they think they are and they can give and make a difference in someone else's world that's a tremendous feel good to be part of of something that is bigger than yourself. So that's what I would recommend. Don't over schedule, be good to yourself. And if you don't have people to be around, find where you can be a force and connected to something that is important. And, and surround yourself with love, as much love as you can Absolutely. find. Absolutely, and for some people that, that's with friendships with a mentor. Really you have to be careful about how you curate your life. Who do you put in your life? Because that influences how you feel about yourself. Who can give to you? Who can you give to? And also the regular, eat well. Mm -hmm. I say buy yourself a nice gift. Focus <laughs> on what's good in the holidays. <laughs> and, and really surround yourself with people that matter. Get good rest. You know, all the things that matter all year round, but you really want to take into consideration now. Uh, Helene, you have a philosophy that's I read in your book that's based on a quote by Hillel. Yes. What is that quote? Hillel first? said, if I am not for myself, who will be? But if I'm only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? So I see that as a wife, mother, teacher, friend, that you have to fill yourself, as Robbie said, you have to like yourself to a degree and work on yourself because none of us are perfect. That's the human factor. And then 
you have to be a we society. I have an essay in there on the we and the me. And the we is that be concerned about someone else. When you go into a store, be concerned about the person helping you. Uh, when you when you go in and a doctor's trying to help you, be grateful. I mean, be, be have a sense of gratitude and thankfulness for all the give and take human beings give each other. Mm. That's what Hillel's saying. And it starts with feeding a child a great deal of love and hoping they like themselves enough to spread that when they grow up. And the therapist would say to that? I would say that the more we get self-involved, it's kind of paradoxical thinking, the more we think about the I, the I, the I, that leads to depression because mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to feel bad than it is to feel good because that's the way our survival brain thinks. So really, the less we can think about ourselves and lose ourselves in the moment of just focusing on enjoyment, the happier we all will be. Okay, give the audience a moment to digest all of this. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Stay with us as Pix 11 News Close Up continues. Back now with mother and daughter, Helene Shalotsky, who is the author, and Robbie Ludwig, who is the uh, psychological the therapist, the clinical therapist. But we're talking here about your book, The Sunny Side, and talking positivity this holiday season. You have a chapter here called Yoga and Marriage. I'm intrigued by that. Yes, uh, I take chair yoga. I want to be very honest about that. And we have a wonderful yoga instructor. She was saying how happily married she was. And most of us sitting in the room were. I mean, I'm married 58 and a half years. Can't forget the half. <laughs> Can't forget the half. <laughs> and, 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 and love my husband and like him. And we were all discussing, well, what makes a happy marriage? And someone said, very honest women, all retired, all of septuagenarians or octogenarians. Or, or octogenarians. And uh, someone said, oh, it's 50-50. And I said, oh, sometimes it's 90-10. And, and one said, sometimes it's 100% to zero. <laughs> and I realized that it's not numbers. It's the give and take and the liking someone and allowing that to grow and respecting someone with the love. And those, that was the combination that came out of our yoga class. Mm. As we were sitting with our namastes, we were also sitting and talking about our view of marriage, which I believe in. So that was the discussion of yoga and marriage in between all our poses and stances, the warrior and whatever we were doing. She'd make a pretty good therapist. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, my mother, her grandmother, was the natural but untrained therapist, so she trained us all. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's talk. We have a couple moments left. Let's talk about the holiday. You know, families get together, but also it's a time families get divided yes. because of the chatter over the dinner table. You and I were talking about this the other day. <laughs> and uh, one of the things to avoid is... Politics. Uh, <laughs> and if you can't avoid politics, then set some ground rules. In fact, I was reading one etiquette advisor was saying, maybe you can have a designated room for those who want to speak about <laughs> politics and those who don't. So that's one way to do it. But I think the thing to keep in mind is that you can't yell somebody into believing your ideas. And so if you are going to talk about politics, understand that people have different ideas and just get curious about where someone else is coming from and try not to take it personally because nobody is changing anyone's minds. But the political situation in this country right now has fired up the passions of people yeah. on, on both sides. Right. And uh, it's probably healthy. Just enjoy your turkey or yes. whatever it is for dinner. Political free zone, just for a few hours, I think, <laughs> probably so, makes sense. What's the final message? It's, as I say, it's a little book, but uh, big with positivity. What's Thank the final you. message you deliver? The final message is that each person can make a difference in their world. And all those little bitty pieces of puzzle we all put together can make it better, brighter, happier. And I just want to say that it's a great gift if people want to be inspired for the holidays, a stocking stuffer. We're going to get this. Yeah. On Amazon, on Amazon.com. The Sunny Side, I Write It As I See It by Helene Shalotsky. Thanks for joining us. Thank and you. Thank you, Marvin. For our daughter, Robbie Thank you. Ludwig, always good to see you. Great to see you. Have a great holiday. You too. You too.